Alabama's teacher shortage and the low test scores in the classroom are being noticed by former teacher and current governor Kay Ivey. Now she's trying to fix the problems by signing four executive orders. While the Alabama Superintendent of Education says this is good news, there's some skepticism saying what's going to be different this time around. NBC 15's Lisa Lebrinyak joins us now. Lisa, you spoke with the state superintendent today. Yeah, I did, Andrea, and he says these executive orders kind of just help pave the path forward. Despite historic pay raises for teachers, since 2003, the number of graduates from Alabama's educator preparation program has declined almost 20 percent. Those are exact words from one of Governor Kay Ivey's executive orders. She says the decline in interest in the education field must be reversed. And State Superintendent Dr. Eric Mackey is on board, saying he's really excited about the apprenticeship program for teachers. In the apprenticeship model, what would happen is just uh, a person who had already uh, two years of college under their belt, they could, um, or they might already have a full college degree, but not a teacher certificate, but at least two years of college under their belt. They're working in a school, maybe as an instruct uh, instructional assistant. They can become a co-teacher uh, with a, a master teacher in their third year of college. They will also get a partial salary during that time and even more money their senior year, along with maybe some independence, like their own classroom. The governor is also concerned about what she calls unacceptably low test scores, despite the number of things the state has done to try and improve them. Ivy signing another executive order demanding a report on progress from Dr. Mackey no later than June this year, laying out how those test scores are going to improve to national levels. So that executive order really just takes the work we're already doing and what the governor said, let's just do a report that pulls together um, uh, all the great things that we have done, plus kind of a path forward. What are the next several steps that we're going to make um, in literacy and in numeracy and in um, career readiness? Another executive order has dedicated a commission that is tasked with enhancing the quality of elementary and secondary education in the state. The commission's focus is on improving teacher quality and quantity while ensuring that students grow academically in the classroom. The governor is also demanding a final report on the commission's progress by December of this year. Kim, Andrea. All right, Lisa, NBC 15 News is dedicated to investigating issues that matter to you and your family. We want you to send us tips or alert us to problems you're seeing in our schools. Just give us a call at our Crisis in the Classroom tip line.